Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're really excited to be building this super duper high-end 12th gen i9 gaming PC sponsored by ASRock. ASRock was nice enough to send over a bunch of stuff for this PC build, but they wanted us to talk about this beautiful Z690 Phantom Gaming Velocita motherboard featuring a bunch of cool features like Gen 5 support when Gen 5 comes. Uh, we have also reinforced RAM slots. We have support for the Gen 4 that we have going on right now and a 17 phase smart power design for overclocking, making it absolutely perfect for that 12900K from Intel. So if you're planning a 12th gen Intel PC, definitely consider picking up this ASRock Z690 Phantom Gaming Velocita uh, from ASRock. And uh, special thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. We'll talk more about this during the benchmarking section. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have here the i9-12900K. And Matt and I are both boomers, and we have very short attention and very short memory. So I already forgot how many cores and threads and efficiency cores this, so I'm just going to read from Intel's website. This is a 16 total core processor, eight performance cores, eight efficiency cores, 8 plus the 16 gives you 24 total threads. And this is at 5.2 max frequency. Don't forget, it's overclockable. So technically, you could go past that if you really wanted to, but I think we're going to stick with our insane amount of cores and threads at the 5.2 gigahertz that it comes with. And to house that Intel i9, we needed something really good. So ASRock sent over this ASRock Z690 Phantom Gaming Velocity motherboard, and it is heavy. I mean, that's how you can tell when you got a very high-end board. It's just based on the raw weight. So you can see here, this is a full ATX board. It actually has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Some really epic RGB action going on over there. That'll be fun to actually see what that looks like. We have lots of NVMe M.2 slots and overall just amazing VRM cooling. So this thing could really handle some absolutely insane power. And well, we did that. We got the absolutely most insanely powerful Intel processor we can get for it. And the cool that i9, we needed something pretty big and hefty. So we have this Cooler Master Master Liquid PL360 Flux. This is an ARGB 360 millimeter liquid cooler. It's pretty basic. I mean, no crazy LCD screens on it or anything. Just, it just works essentially out of the box. So you have three pin ARGB, hopefully we'll find out in a minute. We have very nice braided tubing and it's just a very thick and very long radiator that will easily keep the sign on cool. This right here is some Kingston Fury. I don't know if it's HyperX. I think it just says Kingston Fury. So maybe this is like a, different line, but um, this just looks like really basic RAM, right? I mean, it looks like you could get this stuff so cheap. It's 32 gigs, pretty high capacity, but, but this is DDR5, 5200 megahertz, and the crazy part, and I know Matt will like this, CL40. That is actually almost half of the cast latency we've been used to on DDR5. We had the really nice Corsair Dominator Plat RAM, and that stuff was like CL80. So this is like half the latency, but at the same frequency. So this stuff should really, really be crazy for gaming. I'm really excited. This is probably like a $1,500 scalper RAM kit right now, maybe more. So have fun trying to buy this. And for storage, we have this PNY Accelerate one terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD and and it is a Gen 4 by 4 so you're getting that insanely fast read and write speed, the fastest you can get. I mean, 7,500 megabytes per second read and 5650 write, that's a uh, pretty insane speeds that even uh, normal NVMe can't touch. So it's really exciting to be able to use this inside of this Intel motherboard. Now for the graphics card, of course we had to go high end with this one. This is a PowerColor AMD RX 6800 XT, which is absolutely a super high end card, compares to the 3080 um, from Nvidia. But we have found that the um, RX 6800 and pretty much all AMD cards are a decent amount cheaper on the used scalper market. So if you are looking for a high end PC, you could definitely save some money and get similar performance with this uh, 6800 XT from AMD. And for the power supply, since we have all this power, we need the wattage to back it up. This is the Corsair RM850X, 850 watts, highly rated power supply. It is fully modular. You're gonna have some nice cables that will make this build look super clean. And uh, yeah, 850 watts should definitely do the job. And for the case, we have the Cooler Master TD500 Mesh. In my opinion, this is one of the best airflow cases on the market. It looks really clean, comes with some nice ARGB fans built in, at least I believe so. And uh, yeah, this cool tempered glass side panel. The main reason we went with it is because we had the Cooler Master AIO and we thought it would work really well together. That could totally come to backfire. And uh, as a backup plan, we have these VTrue ARGB fans so we could just go ARGB and make things work. So um, pick these up if you want to. They're not necessary unless you really just want to buy a three fan pack for the last fan slot in the back, so that's up to you. But uh, yeah, very excited to build this high-end PC. Let's get to it.
Alright ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this super high-end gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's dive into some benchmarks real quick. Notice how I test this PC in a couple of titles at 4K, those being Halo Infinite, Apex Legends, Warzone, and Borderlands 3. First up in Halo Infinite on high settings at 4K, we average about 70 to 80 FPS. The main reason we tested all the games at 4K is because we really wanted to push the system to its absolute limits, and a lot of people are really diving into 4K gaming now with the rise of 4k gaming on the uh, next gen consoles so getting over 60 fps at 4k is a very impressive feat in newer titles like this so we just wanted to see what the absolute limit was for this configuration now when you are playing at 4k you're not necessarily stressing the 12900k a lot but it is a good thing to have still because you can upgrade that gpu in the future uh, and have no bottlenecking whatsoever that 12900k is a staple for a lot of upgrades to make your pc last a very long time next up in eight Apex Legends on max settings at 4K, we averaged 110 plus FPS. Apex Legends is not a game you necessarily normally play at 4K unless you happen to have a 4K 144Hz monitor, and if you do, if you're one of the lucky few, then you most certainly will get a great gaming experience. It will look super sharp and also super smooth, and you can play all the esports titles at 4K 144Hz, like Fortnite, Apex Legends like we're testing here, CSGO, Valorant, all those games will have no problems getting 100 plus FPS at 4K if that's the desired resolution you choose to play at but of course we here personally love to run 1440p or ultra wide high refresh rate to get well above that 200 plus fps mark and get really good quality performance in any game you throw at it but that's all of the personal preference, and if you want to buy some specific monitors, definitely check out some videos on our channel where we do some monitor roundups, because yeah, it gives you a good idea of what will work very well for this gaming PC. Next up in Warzone on the new Vanguard map, at 4K medium settings, we averaged about 120 FPS. We went medium settings because I was expecting this new map to be very demanding, but it really wasn't that bad, so you could up the settings to high if you want to, and still maintain a probably 90 plus FPS experience at 4K. Warzone is is definitely a game a lot of people want to play at 4k because they see the next gen consoles playing at 4k and they want their gaming pc to do the same that's not entirely the same thing there is a lot of upscaling happening with those consoles but it does set a precedent that you should be able to game at 4k on a gaming pc versus your console um, so stay tuned for that we're doing a video on uh, consoles versus pcs in 2021 going into 2022 but uh yeah long story short warzone very playable and last but certainly not least is borderlands 3 at 4k on high setting using the built-in benchmark we average 71 FPS. In recap, this is a very awesome PC for the money, super high-end, super high-performing. That ASRock Z690 Phantom Gaming Velocita motherboard worked very, very well with that i9-12900K. No problems running the RAM overclocks, and it was easily able to allow that 12900K to boost all the way up to about 5 gigahertz. No problems whatsoever, and overclocking is an option if you're somebody who likes to tinker with that sort of thing. You can definitely do that with that ASRock Z690 Phantom Gaming Velocita motherboard, so be sure to check the link down below for all the PC parts from today's video, along with that motherboard. Special thanks to Ken Azra for sponsoring this video. Now, let's bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so we just got done benchmarking this PC, and as you can imagine, it plays absolutely everything we threw at it. We even did 4K testing because the system just really deserves that. And that ASRock Z690 Phantom Gaming Velocity motherboard was absolutely awesome in terms of dialing in the XMP overclocks for the RAM, getting it to the right speed, and it was a really powerful system. It was very easily capable of handling the 12900K, and you should definitely consider building a 12th gen Intel PC using this awesome motherboard by checking the link down below to buy that, along with all the other links from today's PC build, they will be affiliate links and they will help us out. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, this PC right here that was hand built by us and is absolutely beautiful, quiet, the best gaming performance ever will be for sale at our PC selling business. PCBros.tech is our PC selling business. We sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, work laptops, work PCs, whatever you really want, we got it. Come to our store or check out our website, PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Goodbye.